previous videos, we installed Python, we installed all the PyQt libraries and tools that we needed. We also installed the GUI Builder, Designer, and our IDE PyCharm. So now we're going to step through creating a desktop application. We're going to start off with a very simple one. So we've opened up Designer, and as you can see, it starts off by presenting you with this little wizard. You want to have main window selected. So for every program, we need one main window. After that, you can create dialogues. You can have some preset ones here that come somewhat built for you. You can create an individual widget that goes inside a window. But for our purposes and most of the time, what you want to do is to begin with, we want to click on main window and then select create. So this has given our, us our main window of the program. If we go up to form, you can click preview and it will show you what your application looks like when it's running. So at the moment, it's just a very basic blank window. So we'll close that off. Now it does come with a couple of things straight out of the box. Up the top here, we've got a menu bar. So the menu bar is just like this uh, file edit form and so on at the top of this QT designer application here. So that's our menu system up here. Now for our application, this very first one, we're going to create a very simple one and we're not going to need the menu bar, so I'll just remove that. There's also a status bar that runs along the bottom. We'll also remove that because we're not going to need that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a very basic application that simply reads in a person's name and greets them. So I'll just make that window a little bit smaller for the sake of the video. On the left hand side here, you'll see that we've got lots and lots of different items that we can use. So these are called widgets. Widgets are graphical elements that appear on our screen inside these windows. So we're going to use a few different ones. We're going to need a push button, so I'll drag a push button across there. We're going to need a label to instruct the user what they're going to do. We're also going to need a text input so that a person can enter their name. I'll drop that up there. And finally, we'll need a label that we'll write on at the end. So this is our basic, lab, uh, basic layout. We're going to have a label up here that says what the input for this text box is. We're going to have a push button that when they click on that, it reads the text and then greets them. So let's go start setting up our widgets. So our label here, we can rename it now, it's very important that you name each one of these widgets in a, um, a very easy to follow way. So when we get to our code, we know which element we're talking about. Don't, whatever you do, just leave the defaults. So that'll be label. If I click on this one, I imagine this will be label two, which it is. We want to rename these items so that they're meaningful. So I'll just call this the name label. I'll just do LBL for short. So we now know that's the name of that label. Now we can change the text that's there by either double clicking into here or scrolling further down and changing the text here. So I'll change that text to name and put a colon to indicate that the thing to the right of this label is where you input the name. So I'll click on this and I'll also want to rename this item. So if instead of line edit, we'll call it name input, our button we'll call enter and I'll put BTN on the end just to show that it's a button. So you need to have some sort of naming convention to make things easy for you. And then at the end we've got the text label down here and I'll call that greeting label. So we've got the naming all worked out. I'll change this text as well. Again, I'll do it from the attributes down here. And I'm actually not going to have any text on it to begin with. So to begin with, it'll be empty. When I press this button, it'll read the name. So let's say it's Harry. It'll say, hi, Harry, how are you? Or something along those lines. Okay, so we have our elements on the screen now. And you can see they're all listed up here on the right-hand side. So I can access them from there, or I can click on them on the screen as well. Now I've just dropped them in. I haven't really organized them in any particular way other than roughly putting them where I want them to to be in the end. And if I grab the corner of this window, you can see if I resize it, 
doesn't do anything intelligently. It doesn't resize or dynamically adjust to the window itself. So this isn't a very good way of doing it by just dropping things in there. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can manage dynamic uh, widgets. So the way we'd use it in Designer is to use what's called layout managers. So these layout managers are the ones along the top here where you can have a horizontal layout, a vertical layout, uh, a grid layout. So we've got different options on how we can tell these widgets to react to each other and to the window. So what I'll do is I'm also going to add a couple of spaces on here. So spaces, when you resize, they'll take up the additional area that's created if a window grows. So I'm going to put a couple on either side here and just show you how it works. So by clicking on each of these items while I hold control, I can, I can select multiple items and if I put them into a horizontal layout, you'll see they're now all grouped together. And if I grab the end of this and drag it out, you'll see that these springs keep growing to fill up any empty space so that these, this section here stays in the middle of those items. Now I'm also going to put a couple of spaces around this push button and I'll group them together so that the push button stays in the middle. And then what I want to do is I want to group this group of things with this group of things. So I select that layout with that layout and I'll also include the greeting label and I'll put that in a vertical layout. Okay, so now that I've done this layout manager, you can see it will intelligently resize to whatever I need. So the name and the input text area together stay in the middle, the push button stays in the middle and below that item as well. If I move sideways you can see they stay in the middle, if I move up and down these items aren't growing or shrinking but they're just staying in the middle. There are lots of options you can do with these widgets. So for instance if I go onto the button here and I scroll down a little bit you can see it's got width and height but it also very importantly has a size policy and you can see its vertical policy is fixed which means it won't stretch up and down if there's more space to be had. If I change that vertical to expanding you can see now the button has expanded to fill up all the space that is there. If I drag it, you can see the button's moving up and down, filling up the full amount of space that it possibly can. So I'll go back and change that policy back again. In the vertical, I'll say I don't want you to expand at all. Okay, so there's lots of different options, and you'll need to go through and explore all these different things down here. There's many, many different things you can do, incl including um, the size of the text, for instance. This is a size 10 in that font. You can change all different aspects of all these elements here. Okay, so we basically have our layout here. If I grab the corner of this window though, you can see they might be moving to each other within that layout manager, but not uh, in relation to the window. That's because we haven't put this whole group together into a layout manager that's connected to the window. And the easiest way to do that is just to click on the window there and click on the grid layout. And it will take one square in the grid layout. Okay, and now when we resize the window, everything's working as it should. So a person will input their name here, press the button. Oh, we haven't renamed that yet. So you can also edit the text by just double clicking on it and we'll just name that button enter. Okay, so they'll put their name in, click enter and a greeting will come up at the bottom. So we've done a very basic layout here, but we've learned a few things. We've learned about springs, we've learned about layout managers and widgets. The next thing to do will be to save this file into a project folder and then we'll move on to the code where we can convert what we've done here graphically into Python code and then we can access each of these elements and make this actually work with code. So we'll go up and we'll say save as. I'm going to go to my home directory, I'm going to create a new folder, so this will be our project folder and I'll call it first app. 
And inside that first app, we have this UI file. So UI file is a graphically built a GUI. And so I'll call that main win. So that'll be our main window and it's a .ui file. So we'll save that in our project folder. And that's it for the GUI building for this section. So we can close off Designer and in the next video we'll open up PyCharm and start coding away and making this application work.